Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these mermaid sequin throw pillows. They are very popular this season and they're actually not that difficult to make. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find a reversible sequin fabric. If you didn't already watch my shop with me video, I went over to Joann's and this is where I found this particular one. I will have more links and information about this pillow located over at charmbyashley.com so I would definitely head over there for sizing and all the other little extras you would need to know. Okay, so now we're gonna start cutting into our sequin fabric and now is for a pro tip we are going to be using masking tape. And we're going to use masking tape to basically map out our cutting trail. So I'm going to be cutting this fabric into a square and I'm just going to draw the square directly onto the masking tape. And the great thing about the masking tape is one, it's gonna hold down your sequins so you're not gonna end up cutting more sequins off than you would already. And then two, it actually just cleans up the mess because when I was at Joann's and they were cutting it, the sequins were flying everywhere. So it just, you know, reduces the mess after you've cut your fabric. So I'm going to be backing this with some minky fabric, just regular plain. I just wanted something a lot nicer on the other side. So if you wanted to use this as a pillow for your head, then you could have a nice surface. So I just took the two pieces and I put them right sides together. And now I'm going to pin a lot just because the minky can be a little bit slippery on top of the sequin fabric. And then I'm going to use the strongest needle I have. The strongest needle I have is a leather needle. You might not need to go that high, but maybe about a 14 or a 16 is the best um, gauge that you want to work with. And when you start to sew, you're going to lay your sequins down in the direction that you are sewing just to make it more smoother for your machine. I don't have an industrial machine, so it went through absolutely fine. So I just sewed around the whole thing, but I left a four or five inch gap, and that will be for stuffing and turning. And then I'm just gonna cut the corners off, and that's just gonna help reduce the bulk for when I go to poke out the corners. So everything's all ready to go, and I'm just going to flip the whole entire thing. It's a very simple, easy process. If you've ever made a pillow, then, you know, obviously this isn't difficult. It's just when I thought about sewing with this sequin fabric, I was kind of a little bit nervous about it and I wasn't sure if I was, you know, if I if it would go into my machine or wreck my machine or whatever. So, you know, needless to say, I was pleasantly surprised that I had no problem and I found that the quality of this fabric at Joann's was very nice. I saw the pillows at Fabricland and I felt them and the sequins were not nice. They were not, they were really rough. These sequins are nice and smooth and you can draw in it very, very smooth. I, I definitely recommend this sequin fabric. So I just stuffed it with some polyester fiber fill and isn't it beautiful? My daughter is absolutely obsessed with it and I made a second one for um, a family member. So now I'm just going to sew up the hole by hand with a needle and thread and I'm just going to do an invisible stitch. So I'm just going to put my needle through the one side and then just keep picking up a tiny bit of fabric and then pulling tight. The good thing about the sequin and the Mickey fabric is that it's good at hiding the seams so even if you don't do it beautifully you will never notice so don't worry about screwing up this part. <laughs> so once you're done that, then you are absolutely finished. You're just going to tie it off. So I just went through another bit of fabric and then I put the needle through the loop. I did that a few times. And then the way I like to hide my ends is I will stick the needle into the pillow, push it through another part of the pillow, pull tight, snip it, and then the end of the thread kind of gets lost inside the pillow and then you're done so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be alerted for new and upcoming also don't forget to follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook if you make this I would love to see this and don't forget to share this with all the sewing communities and Pinterest boards and all that fun stuff so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys